Oh, yeah. Purely medicinal. Purely medicinal. What, what is it anyway? Uh, Suplia. Osset Lakowski. Hazelnut vodka. From Poland. <clears throat> Purely just to... Uh, Oh, that's sweet. Oh, I'm not sure if I like that or not. I don't like sweet things. Sweet alcoholic drinks, I mean. Well, they can laugh good down the hole. We're, out, we're actually having a... We're going to be having a poll this weekend. I don't know if you can, you can see those. Uh, that's a whopper, that is, isn't it? You know? Yeah. <clears throat> 7.6, 9%, 6.3, 6.5. Tell you what, these Polish, they do like the, the beers. And that's what this is about, isn't it? It's about beers. Oh, have I failed with the beers? <clears throat> Not letting go. So, my name's Ian. Welcome to my place. So about six weeks ago, I went on something called the Real Ale Trail by train. It was on Halloween. So if you, in the following video, if you see people dressed up around the streets, catching the train, they don't normally dress up and, you know, catch trains like that. It's because it was Halloween. <laughs> and let's face it. Stop it. You know, we didn't do that as a kid. It's all been imported from America. Watching too many of these American films. You know, like E.T., things like that. <clears throat> you know, we were kids. We were too scared to go out on Halloween. That's when all the monsters come out. We digress. The title, The Real Ale Train Trail Fail. Oh, The Real real Ale Train, The Real Ale Trail Train Fail. Why did I fail? Why do I call it a fail? Well, <clears throat> but it was the amount of real ale I was drinking, I lost Sight. I lost. I lost track. Or track. Train. Track. Forget it. Of the video, and it's, it's more of the journey rather than the real ales and the pubs that I was going in. <clears throat> Partly because there isn't a train station in my town. I catch a train every couple of years. And the novelty of being on a train, you know, was enough for me to, to, to video that. <clears throat> and then also, as I did, you know, mention on some previous lives, uh, little videos, was going to go live, which I did in the very first pub I went live, the station's head, and uh, in, uh, in Huddersfield, the very first pub, that is not in this video. <clears throat> you can... Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you want to see the start of the drunken journey. Uh, and then basically, I tried to go live at every pub after that, neglecting the fact that I was... I really wanted to show my friends across the pond uh, the, the, the pubs and the people and the beers. And I, I kind of missed all that, really. Uh, Trying to live stream, and I didn't have a good signal, and it was pathetic, and I, I got Scrapping Irish came and joined me, and then it quit. That's why I'm calling it a fail. I, myself, thoroughly enjoyed the whole day. It was a long day for me. I must have been out 13, 14 hours. 
And I know some of you people joined in along the way. I was getting messages, I was popping up on live streams and talking about the, the journey. <clears throat> so anyway, without much ado, I'm going to start off the video catching the buzz. A buzz? I've not caught a buzz for donkey's years. <coughs> I caught a buzz to do my journey. It's all about drinking. It's all about the people I was with. I've cut it down. As like I said, I was out for 13 hours. You know, this video is about 30 minutes long. There was only just clips of here and there and everywhere. All sorts of jumbled together and all the lives that I did do I ended up deleting or making private it just it got messy at the end really messy Ian in his shed and I'll see you in the next one soon enjoy the journey Oof. On a wet and cold, windy morn, yet a tale of epic pr proportions may be born. I have to get off to a bus stop, and that's about 500 yards away. Oh, well, this is, this is indeed a novel experience. Uh, I haven't been on a bus for, uh, I don't know, years. Well, well, we finally made it here to the bus station. It's, uh, it's a bit empty. Mind well, you, it is early. Uh, so I wouldn't say I caught the wrong bus. I caught the only bus. Uh, and that took roughly 54, 54 minutes to get here. I'll be ready for a drink. Right, so I've got... Uh, well, first of all, welcome to sunny Wigan. Well, not so much of the sunny, so I think I've got to make the way right up there and find the moon under the water. There we go, well that didn't take much searching for. The moon under water. Uh, that's, all, that's a free house as well, which means it's not tied to any one brewery. Or, I could nip into Greg's and get myself a sausage roll. Let's go in and have my breakfast. Too big one here. Sharps, Doombar, Hot Twister, Blackberry Porter. Don't know what that one is. Off the hook. Albert's Hill. Well, I had an Albert's Hill the other night, didn't I? Yeah, in fact, I had two. Right. These are just your standards. You know? Uh, and more lagers and ciders. Well, this is all the motley crew I'm going out with. And it appears that the, uh, the breakfast turned out to be a liquid breakfast. Probably might miss this, but there we go. Welcome to Yorkshire, Woods. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. We've made it to Uddersfield. Uh, it comes straight into the head of steam when we should really be going over to the King's Head. Uh, just down there. Anyway. I've got a pint of uh, local ale on the desk and I'm still relatively sober so I'll catch you all inside Who's that behind you? Right, so we're starting off, we're starting off the ale trail We won that one on Monday so. Wow Monday we won that So she's telling me she won that on Monday You're the landlady the manager, right, okay. So we start the ale trail up at the King's Head and they won all those prestigious awards. And all the more downstairs. For the real ale. Yeah. Well, 
Ian, Ian is starting off with our fights with to the, to the derision of everyone else. Yeah. Wimp, Definitely. did you say? Wimp. Wimp. Although, however, I have just had a taster of this uh, Magic 8 Ball at 7%. So, uh, I'm not doing too bad. Wimping. Look at that flooring. You don't see flooring like that everywhere, do you? Right. I'm drinking at the moment. Uh, I don't know, something about a fell. What are you Oh, an old Claymore Bertat. Right. We've actually made it onto the railway station. It seems we have to cross over though. Uh, well, everybody else will need to know, won't they? Ah, they'll, they'll figure it out. We'll wave to them from to the platform. Oh, God, we'll never make it to the next station. Well, sad to say, we missed the train. So, what we're going to do now is work, work our way back to uh, the first pub that we came in. Oh, well. If you don't mind, listen, if you don't mind, leave it, you can type up, you can put on to Ralph with love or just get stuff, you old fogey. There you go, Ralph. As requested from the uh, off, awesome, awful, awesome staff at the station Z. Head of steam. Head of steam. Well, this looks like he's like a chariot. Are you sure this is the right train? Yeah, 53, yeah. Oosh. Next stop, six minutes up the line. She's in here. You know, listen, Gary, there's only one road and it's downhill. So, uh, Look at all these cobbles. Can't even afford tarmac in uh, Yorkshire. Right, I've got to get down there with them men. Okay, folks. It seems that this pub is at bottom of a very big bloody hill. So I've got to keep catching up with these guys. In a town called Slough it. Oh, right. Looks like we're going into something called the hideaway. It's a craft house. Stone brick building. And I hope it's got a toilet. Dave, he's such a nice lad. Well, I'm going to tell you I'm, how I'm going to choose the next like beer. Starting at number 12. Cider. So not ready for cider yeah. yet. Belgium. Not ready for Belgium. Beer and Marietti. I had a pint on the, on the uh, mini buzz game here. I'm getting up the Bavarian. So it's going to be our West Coast IPA. Oh, it's New York. Another pale ale. Pale ale. Now, you can tell, you put up the I'm not into beer, it's got a fruit. Or banana fruit. Um, yeah, what do you want there? Magic Rock Psychokinesis. 6.5%. No more with grapefruit. No. Gluten free, vegetarian at 3.9%. I'm not going to bite, and I'm going to go for a Magic Rock because it rocks. Come on, Oh. Hey, big! Is this freaking hell? Yeah, tell me about it. Right, Gary. Let, it. Let's go. Let's go up this hill together. Can I give you a perspective? It's like a 
Fucking one in ten. Come on, listen. Trains do, you know. Me having a breather. What a frigging hill that is, too. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Gary. Oh my God, more, more hills. At least it's not as long. <laughs> oh, we've made it. Right, we're waiting for a train. Mind the gap. I guess that means that big gap. No, you don't have to. Sh you're all on it. We've all got stiffies here. <laughs> Come on, Jamie. Say hello to your dad. Shout out Stephen Sharrick, biggest follower. Shout out Stephen Sharrick. Hang on. Here we go, Slaithwaite, or as the locals pronounce it, Slothit. I can't see this being here much longer. But... Booth! Booth! I can tell that's uh, Transmetro having a go at me. <laughs> what have we got here? A train. We want this one. This train is taking us to our next public house. Right, no, I've got off at Marsden. Well, who would think it's the epicentre of the space centre? So I've got Boba, Boba Fett and his dad. Mandalorian. The Mandalorian, of course. What a fantastic outfit. Right, so say hello, guys, to YouTube. Hey, guys. Thank you very much. Jesus wept him, don't get too close to this. This is uh, obviously a canal with a lock system that's uh, going by. If you don't know what a lock system is, then I kind of very quickly explain. I don't want to get too close to this leading edge. Right. We've got a pair of gates. This side is higher than that side. So when you open these gates, then that side will sink to that side. And there you go. That's the explanation of a lock on an English canal. Step, two step, three steps, four. Right, I'm going to find another pub. And that pub wasn't so far away at all. It's called the railway at the Marsden. It's a Marsden's pub. Ah, I run across the road because I can't come in. So everything in Yorkshire is hills. It's either you're going downhill or you're coming uphill. Right, I'm going in here, finding a pint. We've had nine drinks. Have you had a drink, Gary? Gary? Lady. It's fine. Fine. You're not having one? It's not mine. Thank you. Oh, there's only ten. Ten. ten of best of pizza. No, I'm not bragging. I could have had a firm as blonde, but I had one in the last pub. Well, to that sign we're at Mersden. Well when we got off that train we walked all the way up and all the way down this hill. I showed you the lock. Yeah it seems when we want to go back we just walk up there. Why, why didn't we walk just walk down here when we got here? <laughs> well <laughs> the, apparently the logistics is uh, no to go that way, we've got to go up there, over there, and down that bridge. Recording. Right, I've got to the top at Phil now to give you even more uh, dramatic Yorkshire weather. Okay. The only problem is, is I've got to be down there when that train is coming from up there. 
So I better pull my pull my finger. Let's go. Go. I train to Greenfield. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Greenfield railway in. Greenfield, our next public house. The railway in. I'm going through that door. Oh dear, well apparently, and this one's only a little bit down it, downhill. <laughs> We're at Greenfield. Look at, look at the slope on that. I tell you what, if you had a car, you need a good handbrake coming up. And it, it goes higher and higher. I'm not crossing the road yet. Not until that red car's gone. Right. We're, we're going to railway in. Okay, I didn't get run over, we're at the uh, railway end, we're apparently what's on Wickley Quays, Rail Port, Freepool, whatever, and a general piss up. Come on, Gary. Right, so. Seven tiger ruts. Seven tiger ruts. There's going to be a joke somewhere, haven't there? <laughs> I think we're going to lime in this place. I'm going to show you. Just say, I'm going to say, uh, a big follower, Steven Jarrett. Look at that. There's a little doggy down here. Come on, come on. Hello. Coffee. Hello. Coffee. Come in. Come on. Hey. You're a lovely dog. You're a lovely dog. Hey. Sorry. No, I just got red. Well, I'm expecting a trainer to that big black hole eventually. No, look at that. The sun is almost gone. You know, it's uh, really getting dark now. I'm still with this bunch of reprobates and we're waiting for the next train that will take us to Staley Bridge and I hope to go live there. Yeah, so folks, we finally made it to uh, Staley Bridge Station, the end of the line as far as the Ale Trail. Ale Train Trail is as far as we're concerned. And I'm still spot on. So I'm gonna go in here. But let's go live while we're in here. Why not? I don't know, I'm not, I'm not lawful. It's all real air, isn't it? Yeah, but there's a lot of real ales. Well, there's a lot of them, isn't there? Well, it, well, it, what have you ordered? Oh, yeah, I know. What have you ordered for lads, real ale? What's more some drinking? Lads with gardens. Yeah. Yeah. Right, say yo! yo. Thank you very much, pal. Back for more, yo! yo. <laughs> I don't know. Do you know? I think we'll end up with a side of it. I think we'll we're on the wrong side. Right, Ian, so run. apparently, Ian. that's the right side. Ian, run. Run? Run. I can't run. Ian, I, run. Well, I need to be on that other side. So we're running. Ah, for fuck's sake.
Right. I think we are now <laughs> on the right station. I'm going that away. Why are they all walking up there? Right. I'm getting on it. I'm getting on it. <laughs> <Get> <laughs> Jamie, who are you waiting for? I'm, get, I'm getting on. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Ah, ah. Gary! I've just had to ask him where he is. And he's in a bar. What a waste of time that was. He's having fun. When you say the big fella, who's the big fella? Him. Big fella. How come you've got a drink? It's being polite. Oh, you're fucking dumbass, you're fucking shit, I didn't know you were, you're shit. Anyone seen that drink? No. no. Yeah, it's uh, Marsden. <laughs> People drink trolley when they come through. Hey! <laughs> Listen, oh, hello. Say hello to you Hello. Two. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Right. Oh, hello. Uh, you hello. did fucking really well. Peach. It's peach. Because he's not been seen for years. Whoa. Drop your ticket. Right. That young lady doing the tickets. Well, she got into a bit, a bit of grief earlier. Further up, further up the line. Uh, somebody didn't want to disclose the tickets, what they paid. Uh, and then she came across. Who's what? <laughs> Of course, we're all uh, God fearing and uh, what's the word? Legal folk, and we've all got tickets. Pleasure, thank you ever so much. And we finally made it to Wigan Wallgate. Oh, so here we are, centre of Wigan. Uh, waiting for a few more to come out of there and I think we're going to go look why everything's out of focus probably a bit like me we're going to head down there to a pub called the Revolution give us a big high five I'm working my way down here Oh no, we're, we're gonna end up. Oh, I've got another clue where we're going. This place is called Jack's. That place is called Reef. That place is called Morty. And they have some scantily clad ladies out there. Very. Uh, Cancel the club, ladies and oh. gentlemen. But, in there, found me, buddy. We're back in a pub that's got a little bit of like the of the ale train. Honestly, all these pubs are as dead as a dodo. But I've got, I've just met this guy here. I just look at those shades. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you very much, bud. Oh Dave, at least there's some life here. <laughs> Welcome to Wigan! Look at these look. Well it's 9pm in the evening. 12 hours I've been out. Well, 12 hours since I caught the buzz. So uh, Uh, I, I'm gonna call it tonight, make my way home. Everybody, thanks for the journey. Thanks for joining in on all the uh, intermittent live streams. I will see you soon. Bye for now.